Well, obviously, uh, that's a that's a great SEC win against a uh, really really good football team. And uh, you know, I just coming out of the locker room, I can't be more proud of our guys. You know, again, you know, coming down from 14 points at one point, uh, you know, two weeks in a row against two really really good football teams. It's uh, you know they. You know, they, they have the word respond that, that we use a lot, and uh, our guys just have responded. And it's not always pretty. I mean, there's a lot of things that are really, as we look back on it, they're not good. But, uh, you know, these guys are fighting, clawing, and scratching, and trying to find a way to win every week. And that's just so much appreciative as, as me being the head coach and all of the assistants as well, because we know these guys go to fight for Auburn, and they fight for us, and they fight for their teammates. And, uh, you know, because of that, you know, you have a chance to, to have a good football team. We're we're not playing we're not playing great on both halves still. First half we turned the ball over twice, but the second half we got four turnovers. So it's just team wins, you know, it's just team wins. When team one one side's not doing well, uh, it seems like the other side steps up. But more than anything that I notice about our football team is they're coming together as a team. And they don't ever flinch. And uh, you know that's hard. That's hard to to get, and uh, we're starting to get that. And we're starting to have a personality of some sort. Uh, we've got to play much better uh, and much more consistent. Uh, but they'll fight. They'll fight. And uh, I was really proud of our offensive line tonight. We challenged them all week to make this a physical football game, and I don't think there's any question that happened tonight. So, uh, just a great win for Auburn and the Auburn family. Questions. You can just uh, just talk about the performance of Cam Newton tonight. I thought Cam, you can just read Cam's numbers and they speak for themselves. He is a competitor. Um, Cameron is a very humble guy who just comes to work every day. I think he's getting better as a quarterback and a team leader and a guy that can manage our offense every week. And I'm um, real, little reluctant to say that because he's in here. Um, <laughs> but um, I see him out of the corner of my eye. But um, the facts are the facts. Team knows that I speak speak the truth, whatever I think is right, and uh, he has been a uh, great addition to our football team. I think he's handled all the circumstances really, really well, with a lot of class, uh, and he he was a huge reason we won the football game tonight. Let's not make any mistake about it. So, uh, but there was a bunch of others out there that did it too. And let's not lose sight of that. So I'm proud, very proud of him, and I'm um, just proud of the whole team. Junior, a run defense held him to 79 yards. Is that a key to the game? I think so, Mark. You know, there are some things that, that we did defensively where we gave up too many big plays, but we knew going into the game that we had to stop the run game uh, without question. We felt like we could get pressure on the quarterback and do some different things if we could get him to throw it. And uh, we, we stopped the run early. And, uh, you know, that, in our opinion, was the key to them having to throw the football and us having a chance for turnovers, and that's kind of the way it unfolded. Looked like you had a lot of guys around Lattimore the whole game. You know, we had a lot of guys around who ever had the ball, I hope. You know, it's not about that. It's just about trying to play really good run defense. Can you talk about the game Mike Dyer had, 23 carries, 100 yards? I'm going to say about Mike, like I've said about so many of our guys, I couldn't be more proud of a young guy that came on. And I asked him before the game, I said, can you carry it 20 times? You know, can you carry it 20 times? And he just kind of laughed at me and said, you know, are you kidding me? You know, <laughs> And, uh, and we knew we were going to give it to him between 20 and 25 times. And, you know, he uh, seems like he got a little bit stronger as the game went on. Uh, we had one mishap in there where he didn't protect the football. He'll learn from that. Hopefully that's not uh, anything that we can't fix. But I couldn't be prouder of him. Coach, how did it feel to finally see some of your turnovers created on defense? Just in the second half. It was good. You know, I've always said, def uh, you know, turnovers are strange defensively. Sometimes you get none, and sometimes they come in bunches, and you don't know how and why. And, you know, we preach it, we talk about it. Coach Roof does a great job of just really honing in on our guys about the importance of those things. We work in practice. You know, we haven't got many. Um, but in the fourth half, I think, in the, in the uh, second half, I think that was uh, certainly a, a key point to win in the game. So I'm proud of our guys on defense and our defensive staff. Gene, how is this? Four and different from a year ago. Uh, you know, uh, we've we've had three really really tough games in a row. 
Uh, not that we didn't at this point last year, but I think we've been challenged in a lot of ways. We've been challenged on the road in a tough environment to a very good football team, and we were able to win that. We were challenged last week to go down by 17 against another very good football team and played the ACC championship a year earlier. And tonight we got challenged going down against a great SEC team, going down by 14 in this game. And, you know, it's just, uh, you know, I don't know what the difference is this time, you know, last year. I got no idea. I just know that we were 4-0 last time, and last year this time, and we are now. And, uh, we're very happy with that, but I'm going to say it again, we're not satisfied with where we're, we are uh, and never and won't be. Uh, but I'm just uh, I'm excited for the team. Take a few more questions for Coach. If you could, just uh, talk a little bit about how the team responded after the missed field goal and getting that turnover and then going back down and scoring. You know, going back to, you know, what my original statement was, it's just that, you know, usually in that situation we're going to get three points. I mean, if, if history would, would play itself out the way it usually does, that was an automatic three points. Uh, you know, it didn't happen that way. So somebody had to rally and respond. And, you know, again, you know, defensively, when we weren't playing well, the offense responded with long drives and, and running the football and, and trying to wear out, uh, you know, wear out the front seven uh, when the defense needed to respond with big plays and interceptions uh, to, to ice the game. Uh, you know, that, that happened twice. So it's just, you know it's all around. It's not one group or, or another. It's, it's all around, and uh, but it's good to see again different factions of our team stepping up to the plate and delivering. One more for coach. In the second half, it looked like you guys played really well on third down compared to the first half. Can you talk about that? Uh, you know, off the top of my head, the stats. You know, I'm not I'm not sure exactly what the percentages were, but. Uh, uh, we just, you know, we went in at halftime and we knew that third downs were getting away from us a little bit. And we decided to go with a couple of different things that we thought might stir it up a little bit. And I thought, again, Coach Roof and Coach Malzahn both on third downs, you know, we were, we were pretty productive, it seemed like, in the second half on both sides of the ball. I know what you're asking, but, uh, you know, again, third down so important on both sides of the ball. And uh, but we got to get better at it, and uh, I think we will. Uh, but again, at the end of the day right now, it was a great team win. And, couldn't be more proud of our team. All right. Thank you, Coach.